Hey Alex, it's RJ again here at LA Mazda showing you a 2012 Ram 1500 Outdoorsman. Another beautiful truck we have up on our lineup that will fit perfectly into the budget that you are looking to stay within. And I'll just give you a good visual of it. This truck does have a little bit more options than the other one I showed you has, but it's pretty well along the same lines. The interior along the same lines as well, but it is a little bit different. We'll get into there and we will show you. First things first, I will show you, just let you have a look at the front. You do have fog lights. That's not important to a lot of people. Some people like to see that. I will show you that. Just give you another visual along the side of the truck here. Let you have a look. I'll open the door inside. We'll have a peek here at the interior. So a little bit lighter color, but very nice as well. It goes very well. You do have the power seats. The other one didn't, so that's just another little feature, I guess, to add to it. You do got your automatic lights, fog lights, everything located right there and as well as the center console rather than the bench seat. Let me just hop on in. So it does have command start as well. Uh, it did shut off on me because it is low on fuel. That will happen, so I will get this bad boy fired up. So if you have a look, same as the other one, you do have your driver information center, which will be located directly in front of you. You can take care of all that. Very easy, all within the reach of a thumb. Uh, having a look on this side, you do got your cruise control as well good to have have a look down here you wanted 4x4 this one does have 4x4 so I wanted to make sure I was keeping it on that moving into the media center as well as the climate controls you do have voice activation as well as Bluetooth so the other one I don't think the other one did I can't remember I don't think it did though so that's just another fun feature Bluetooth is pretty important nowadays with the laws and for safety of course uh, we'll have a look you do have a power outlet located right here push the button that is on Move down so you do have your center console, you don't have the bench seating, so I don't know if that's important to you, but you get a little bit more storage room, I guess, a nice big apartment right here. You got your shifter located right here in the middle. And then yeah, I'll just let you have a look. The seats are in very good condition as well, just like the other one, I honestly think this one might be in a little bit better shape, just for the sake of it is, this is a nice truck, it really is. So what I'll do is I'll jump in the back now, I'm going to shut it off really quick, just because we are low on fuel, I don't want to have to deal with that. That's no fun. Hop in the back here, so more power. You got your power windows here in the back. Everything is kept in very nice shape. The seats are back a little bit, so don't be alarmed that it's very close. The seats are back. But again, like I said, very nice shape. You do got the power, uh, power back gate located at the button in the same spot as before up there. Close that up. You do kind of have the two-tone, I guess, the darker gray with the silver, so that, that's a little bit nicer feature. Some people like that, as well as along the wheel well. I'll take you to the back so you can see there is the Outdoorsman. Very nice silver, very nice indeed. You do got the tow package. I don't know if that's important to you, but it does have tow package. So I'll just give you another visual of the back, let you have a peek at that. Now, the other one had a box liner. I will show you this one does not. We do do that here, though. I will let you know. If it may be. So here it is. Here's another one. And I will find some more. I'll get a little bit more information to you. I'll send this off as quickly as I can. I hope you enjoyed the video again. And I look forward to hearing from you. Have a good day, Alex.